Well, one of the key challenges facing the church today is the lack of leadership. There are plenty of managers, plenty of people who can help out in planning and organising all the detailed stuff, making sure things come together, but we lack leaders. So in this few minutes, I'm going to talk about what leadership is. And then over the next couple of weeks, I'll post other videos looking in more detail as to what I think uh, leadership is about and why we so desperately need it in the church. Well, the first thing a leader needs to do is to understand the internal environment in their church or organisation and understand the external environment as intimately as possible. They need to understand what forces in culture will influence their organisation 5, 10, 20 years from now. They need to understand the personalities and the culture within their church and their organisation. And we'll talk more about, I'll talk more about that in an up and coming video. The second thing a leader needs to know or needs to be able to do is they need to clarify the mission. Or what's known as question zero. Why do we exist? Why is this church here? Why is this agency here? What is our mission? It's incredibly important that the leader clarifies that. And more often than not, that mission is confused with multiple understandings from people inside the church or the organisation and outside as well. And it's incredibly important that the leader clarifies what that mission is and makes sure that everyone is on the same page. The second thing which is incredibly important to leadership is developing a vision. Where do you see this church and this organisation going in the years to come, in the, in the months to come, in 10 years and 20 years. What is your vision for this? And the leader needs to embody that vision. It's not just a matter of spouting fancy words, but actually living the vision. And I'll talk more about that in another video to come. And then it's the role of the leader to point every aspect of the organisation, every part of it, towards achieving that mission. From the administration systems, to the hiring of staff, to the training of present staff, to the deployment of whatever the resources are, they all point towards that mission. Another important skill and trait of a leader is to remove the elements within the organisation that aren't adding to the mission. So you've clarified the mission, you've set a vision, you understand your internal and external environment, and now you're saying, well, is that really our core business? Is that really what we're about? Well, if it isn't, you need to move it on. It's also important as a leader not to be the most capable person in the organisation. That may sound strange, but you need to be surrounded in giants. The leader needs to draw people into their team that are absolutely brilliant at what they do, to get the best that you can. And the last thing in this very short leadership 101 in a few minutes is to set it up so that it isn't dependent on you as a leader that when you leave, it grows from strength to strength. And I'm talking there not just about succession planning of who will follow, but organisational succession planning, that the organisation is not dependent on you, that it grows. May there be more leaders.